Hello, so I've been in this workshop a couple of months now. I initially set it up, I really think you need to be in a space a while before you actually know how you want everything to be. So, I'm gonna make some changes. I wanted it to look all atmospheric in here, so I painted it this quite dark blue, which I really like, but then something happened which made me change my mind, and I'll come on to that later. But now, I'm gonna get it stripped out and get a fresh coat of paint on. Now, I did say at the time, when I was painting this all blue, that I wasn't worried about it because it's not the biggest job in the world to repaint it. So what I've got is just some pure, brilliant white that I'm gonna go over the blue with on three of these walls. All right, whilst I wait for this to all dry, I'm gonna answer a question that I've got asked a lot, and that is, how do I power this workshop? So for over a year now, I've been off grid in this workshop and the last. Since being in this workshop, I've been using this Anchor 757. Now, this is a 1500 kilowatt rated machine, so it can run everything I've got in here, including my most powerful machines, like my bandsaw. I feel confident using this in a harsh environment like a workshop because it's impact resistant, drop proof, anti-UV and flame retardant. So I don't only use this to power my machines, I also use it to run my lights, which I'll show you at the end of the video when I get them all back up. But it already has a light on it with different brightness settings, which would be useful for taking it camping. Now, it's great being off grid in here, but it's even better for taking it away. I've got a video coming up where I go to my mum's and do some work, and I took this with me. These handles make it pretty easy to move around. I've got lots of sanding to do so I can get my vac plugged in and my sander and get on with it. Now I wasn't actually that far from the house this time but it meant I could use the sander and the vac without running any extension leads. Battery's dead on my drill so I'm going to use this to give it a charge up. Whilst I'm here, I'm gonna use the USB-C port just to give my phone a little top up. This can be recharged in three different ways. And it has rapid charge, hyper flash technology, so it can charge from zero to 80% in one hour. So you can plug it into the mains, you can plug it into your car, or what I'm gonna do is plug it into solar panels. So now I'm gonna get some solar panels put on the roof. There's a special offer at the moment on this from the 25th of May to the 7th of June with £400 off and a couple of free gifts, a magnetic battery and a car vacuum. So there'll be a link below this video. Click on that and you can check it out. Let's see if we can get this up. No problem. I'm just going to loosen off some of this cladding. Then I can get these cables tucked in behind it. It's a nice sunny day, so let's get this plugged in and charging. 
So now with the solar panels on the roof, I feel my off-grid system is complete. Now, I went to go off-grid for a few reasons. One, there's kind of a driveway road between the house and the workshop, so running cables was a bit complicated and would have been costly. The energy situation has also changed a lot. Prices have gone up hugely. Now, I don't pay anything for electricity in my workshop. And if there's any power outages for multiple reasons, then I'm secure. So thank you very much to Anchor for this unit. Uh, please do click the link below and check it out. Now, back to painting. So, I've got three walls painted. Now, to do the feature wall. For the last wall, I've got this paint called Cannonball, which is like a dark grey. Now, I got this when I first moved into the house and I did my living room with it, thinking the colour scheme I'm going to go for is a black, white, grey, kind of badgery colours, and that made sense. And uh, then I totally forgot about my plan. So what changed my mind about the colour was I had a visit from Bosch Professional. They came here with a full film crew for a day to do some filming of me making some things with their tools. Um, made a couple of things, one of which I'll show you in a bit, but they laid out all the tools for display and obviously the colours are blue and red and I've painted the walls blue and the cables for my lights are all red and this was not intentional. I did the lights when I was in the, the green workshop but I looked like I was just some kind of Bosch fanboy. I mean I do like Bosch tools but I didn't like having my workshop painted in Bosch colours. So I thought about it and then I remembered my initial plan of going for badger colours, so that's what I'm doing. So Bosch were pretty optimistic about what they wanted me to get done in one day. They wanted me to make a console table out of some pallet wood with a herringbone style top. Now, I revisited that project last week so i'll show you that and talk about the more in a second but the other thing i made was a drill charging station so i can get that on the wall there wasn't time to paint it while they were here but as soon as they went i got it painted black to match everything else So let me show you what else I've been up to. So since getting the workshop built, I had no need for that tent. So I've got that all taken down and I've got a bit of space out the back again. But I do need a storage shed because my house is still full of bits of wood. So behind the workshop, I've started to prepare a base and there will be a video series coming up at some point, building a shed. The eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed some other changes I've made because they've been in the backdrop of a few shots. And that's I've got my badger sign on and a few other things. I've got a little badger thing there. And I've got a guard badger down here. So all this means I need to film a new outro for my videos. Right, let's get the lights on in the workshop and I'll show you how it's looking in here now. Everything's back in here, everything's back on the walls and we are ready to go with the new colour scheme. So when Bosch were here, I talked about making this drill stand and the other thing was this herringbone pallet wood console table I made. They took that away with them, but we are running and by we, I mean me and Keith on the Workshop Banter podcast are running and make something from a pallet challenge. That's not what it's called. I'll put it up on the screen now, I've forgotten already. Anyway, I decided to revisit my pallet wood project and make a table, but I didn't make a console table, I made a coffee table 
and that went up last week. So that's my entry to the challenge. So if you want to have a go yourself, you can check out the podcast and the website and I'll put links down to below. We've had quite a few entries already and they're looking great. So I think that's all the updates I've got to tell you for now. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos. Mm.